So in this video, we will see the minimum turning radius, the derivation of this formula, how we are getting this formula. What all things are there? Let us try to understand here. So this is the nose gear and this is the uh, intersecting point of the main gear and the center line of it, which is your wheelbase. Wheelbase is denoted by B here, right? And it is trying to steer at an angle of beta here this is the maximum steering angle so this two information we have and minimum turning radius is the distance from this point this is the center from this point the distance of the farthest wing so this is the distance of your radius this is the minimum turning radius we are trying to understand what is R. So let us try to understand how we can get this formula. So first let us see how we can simplify this. This is your uh, aircraft center line. And say this is, the, this is your nose gear. This is your uh, nose gear. And here you have your main gear. This is your main gear, right? So in this main gear, we will try to draw the line, the maximum angle at which your nose gear can turn. Say, say if it can turn at an angle of um, angle of beta, I can extend this line here like this, right? And you have got the center line of the nose gear, so you can draw like this. Right, so this point is your center point. Right, so this is your center with respect to the flight is trying to turn. Let us first uh, calculate this distance. Let us calculate this distance. Now, if this is beta, this is 90 minus beta, then this would be beta, simple geometry. And this is your wheelbase, wheelbase is B, right? And say this is um, smaller, this is not the turning radius, let us call this smaller, okay? So if I use the geometry, I can write like this, tan beta is equal to B by R. We can write R is equal to, because R we want to first find out what is R. R is equal to, um b by tan beta we can write b cot beta simple trigonometry i'm using again i can write that b tan 90 minus beta right just a simple geometry cot beta i can write tan 90 minus beta so in short what i'm getting is r is equal to b tan 90 degree minus beta right so th this is what we will write r is equal to b tan 90 minus beta right this part we have already derived next what we can do is this is my wheel and let us draw the uh, flight like say let's put a schematic of that uh, this is your nose gear right right here is your main gear and this is the wingspan so when it is trying to turn it is from this point from from this point you are measuring this distance right this is your radius this is your minimum turning radius right so to bring you back here from this point we have to find out the distance of the wingspan right see your wingspan what is your wingspan wingspan is the distance between the farthest tip of it right so this is your wingspan if you remember this is your wingspan so what is half of the wingspan? So if we put the wingspan by T, then half of the wingspan would be T by W, 
right so your t by w is basically your wings half of the wingspan and that is measured from where if this is your flight your from the center line this the farthest distance of the wingspan this distance is half of your wingspan right so this is a wingspan by 2 if if this is your wingspan so from this point to the farthest point that distance is your minimum turning radius right so this entire distance is your minimum turning radius which is mtr minimum turning radius which comprise this part and what is this part we have already seen this is wingspan by 2 right so my minimum turning radius is going to be b tan 90 minus beta plus t by 2 here t is your wingspan so this is the formula that you see in the slide as well this is what you can see here b 90 minus it up t by 2 here t is your nothing but uh, not wheel track this is your wingspan right so i hope you have understood this entire illustration